Uh, so now that we are a bit more familiar with Blender, I want to go through some shortcuts that I usually use uh, in Blender to kind of help me with my workflow. So uh, one, one shortcut that I uh, like to use if I'm working in a smaller scene is A to just select everything and double click A to deselect. And if you're editing the object, you can also double click to deselect or click A to select uh, basically all the vertices or all of the uh, parts of the object that you're currently selecting. So it will be edges or faces if you're selecting those. Uh, that is a good one. I also use tab as you saw to just uh, go into edit mode or out of edit mode. Uh, pretty useful. Uh, in Blender you can also uh, use shift D to duplicate and then just move the mouse to set wherever you want this new object to be. And if you hold shift and click on another object they are both going to be selected and if I click tab they are both going to be in edit mode and this way I can uh, work with both of them at the same time. This is something that in some earlier uh, versions of Blender was not possible, but now you can select multiple objects and work with them at the same time. Uh, another useful uh, shortcut is F3 and this opens up the menu with basically all the possible options in Blender where you can just Google and uh, do something uh, in here. So maybe I want the origin of this box to be to my cursor, I can type origin to uh, 3D cursor and now my origin is set in here, so if I try to rotate, I'm rotating around that point. Uh, I also like to use shift C, so if I uh, if I hold shift and click rightly somewhere, uh, I'm gonna set that this uh, uh, 3D cursor on that point, so you can point on the face and then for some, if I wanted I could set the uh, our origin to the cursor, so my origin is now on this point that is on this object's face. So if I rotate, I can rotate around that, so maybe I want to do something like this. Uh, so that is basically shift right click. And if at any point I want this 3D cursor to be at 0, 0, 0, I can click shift C and it automatically sets it to 0, 0, 0. So that is another one that I, I like to use. Uh, so another shortcut I like to use is space, that just starts your animation when, wherever you are. Just click space and it can start uh, going through your animation. Uh, really useful there. Uh, I also like to use N. This is for some uh, simple options when you uh, have objects selected. So when I click N I can see okay this object is offset uh, by this from its center point which is here. It is moved a bit and his rotation is zero right now. I can maybe rotate it in here if I want. I also have some things uh, related to view if I want to change. So maybe my focal point of the camera in the scene I want to change. Uh, if I'm working with some different camera, maybe 35 millimeter, I can change that so I can ha kind of have more realistic view when I'm in the viewport to what my scene will look like. We also have clips, clipping start and end. So if I put this to 100 meters and start going away, you can see at some point my, my meshes disappear and this is the clipping if I set it to 10. Uh, it's gonna clip really fast. Default is 1000. So this is all when you click N you get this little menu there. Uh, I also used, uh, like to use the simple scale S, uh, R and G for scale rotation uh, location and also if I have an object selected I can click let's say rotation and then I click Z, X or Y so basically uh, rotate only on one specific axis. So if I click Z, it's going to be Z, Y, Y and X, X. And I can also combine them. If I click X while I'm rotating and then hold shift and click Z, then it's going to exclude Z and only rotate on uh, X and Y. Or if I click G and click X and let's say Y, it's going to exclude Y and I, now we are moving it only uh, in, up, down and left, right from this uh, viewpoint. Uh, so those are the most simple ones. There are some uh, uh, interesting, one when, interesting ones when you are working with multiple objects. So if I select two objects, I can click Ctrl J uh, to merge them. This is going to be useful if you quickly want to join uh, two objects together. Uh, you can also click uh, Ctrl P and set parent two. So let's disconnect them. I can click Ctrl P and then click Set Parent, so keep transform. And this way, when I move this object, now the other object is connected. 
but when I move the other object, since it's a child, it won't uh, it won't affect the parent, but parent will affect the child. And this is some relationships that you can also change in here. So I can disable this relationship, and now we don't have that relationship relationship anymore. Uh, so you could set it in here in the object properties of each object, or you can just click uh, hold two objects and then click Control P, keep transform, and it will be connected. Whichever is the active object uh, will become the parent, basically. Uh, so let's see, do we have any uh, other... Uh, yeah, you have... Uh, if you have a numpad on your keyboard, you can also use it uh, in really useful ways, where if I click one on the numpad, it will give me the viewport from the front, we have three from the side, uh, five to go perspective orthographic, seven to top view, and those are most that I use. Uh, I think there is some other ones, so I can move... Uh, if I use 4, 2, 6 or 8, I can move kind of around. And uh, with 9, I can just uh, rotate 90 or 180 degrees. Uh, so you could also try to move this, but I think 1 and 3 are the most useful ones, and also 7 to go from top view. And if you ever want to kind of flip it around, so 1 is basically seeing it from like positive uh, Y, but if I hold shift and click 1, uh, or uh, control and click one, then it gives me a different view or 180 degrees view. So this is while holding control or clicking one or not holding control and clicking one. It kind of flips it around on the same axis. Uh, and also on the numpad, you can click uh, uh, the little delete button next to, next to the zero. And this basically focuses on whatever you have selected. So if for some reason you're in here, you're rotating, it's hard to see this object that you want to, to work on, and it might be hard to kind of uh, come to it, so you rotate right around it. You can click uh, that delete button, it focuses directly on that object, and now you're perfectly rotating around this selected object. So, really useful, use that uh, all the time. Uh, next thing that we have is, if I select a face, uh, I can hold control and click plus on the numpad, and then it just selects all the faces around it. So if I have something like this, and I select this face, I can click uh, hold control, then click plus on the numpad, and it selects all the faces around it, and then I can click plus, control plus, and select it, selects it again. So it can be pretty useful when you just want to expand your selection uh, to whatever is around the face that you have uh, currently selected. And you can use a control minus to uh, go back, if for some reason you want to go back. Uh, and also you can use uh, numpad control plus minus to zoom in and out. I usually use scroll wheel and middle click to kind of uh, yeah, look around. So, but you could basically with numpad just uh, uh, rotate around, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you could some do something like that, but I usually uh, don't since I have the mouse and it's pretty nice to work with shift, holding shift and clicking middle click. You can pan and kind of move that way around the scene. Uh, so I think that's about it. There is also some uh, maybe less useful, but uh, useful nonetheless uh, shortcuts. So Shift uh, Control A actually gives you this uh, apply location rotation and scale. So right now the location for my object is not zero and the rotation is not zero. But if I want them zero, I can click Control A and then click on location, click on uh, rotation, and now everything is set to zero. So now my pivot is at zero, rotation is at zero. Now this screws a bit with my object because now uh, I cannot, uh, I have to do some work to kind of make it uh, look straight, but uh, if we are in here and then I set this to zero and it, we do not apply this rotation, we can see that it is uh, now straight and works normally. So you have to be careful when you apply the rotation location scale as the new one. Uh, it can get a bit weird. And I guess final shortcut that you're probably going to use a lot is just adding new objects, Control sh uh, shift a and in here you get a bunch of stuff that you want to create. Uh, so this is usually what I use to create new objects instead of going to add here and then searching for it and basically uh, adding it that way since I can just quickly click shift a and add it whenever I want. And if you remember, we can change our pivot, so we can uh, basically spawn the object on that point, 
uh, instead of spawning it directly in the center of our scene. It can get pretty useful if you want, if you have a really big scene and some object is really far away and you don't want to go to the middle, uh, create new object, take it and then move it all the way where you want. You can just click shift right click and then on some object close to it and then just create it right there. So I think that's some of the most useful shortcuts uh, that I usually use in Blender and get pretty handy, especially things like F3, where you can literally just type whatever you want. If you just know the name of the action that you want, you don't have to search it in the menus uh, or search it uh, somewhere in here. You can just uh, F3, type uh, first few letters, it usually pops up and that's about it.